What's going on, everybody? This is Nick Lawson from Squad Sports. We're really excited to be supporting the Free Agent Friday series. A lot of great talent out there. Without further ado, this is the next free agent you should be signing with your sports team. All right, we are back for another Free Agent Friday. And today I've got Jean Marie Anderson. How's it going, Jean? Good. How are you, Andrew? Doing good. Great I wish I was in Central Florida with you right now, but that will wait for a week. So it's, okay. it's rainy and stuff today. So yeah, I don't miss that. So it's all good. No. So hey, um, tell me a little bit about um, where you went to school, any degrees that you have, or, or specific, specific training. Sure. Uh, I went to uh, Marist College in Poughkeepsie, New York. So I'm originally from New Jersey. Um, but uh, yeah, I made, I actually, I went to Marist. I started as a history major and spring semester of my uh, uh, freshman year, I kind of realized, you know, I wanted to get into sports in some shape or form. And my brother worked at ESPN. So I had, I, I knew about that end of the business as well. So uh, I turned my major into communications and uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's, it's been great. Yeah. So I got a communications degree and kind of right out of college, I worked uh, in the New York area for uh, sports channel, New York. On a sh uh, they were just starting a new show. So it was a great opportunity um, called sports nightly. Uh, so I worked there as a producer editor. So I edited and produced a lot of highlights and sound bites and feature stories and stuff like that. So that's kind of, that's pretty much where I cut my teeth. Is, and uh, what like, what like made you decide, you know, that's where you wanted to be? Was it, you know, your brother being in it or was it before that even? Well, like I said, I knew I wanted to be in sports in some shape or form. Um, and I, I just, I love the creative aspect of it, uh, of television, um, just being able to uh, create stories, ex you know, et cetera. Um, my father was a sports writer. So I grew up with a father who didn't have a nine to five type job. So, um, you know, I knew, I knew I didn't want that kind of lifestyle. I know it sounds crazy, but I didn't <laughs> want that kind of lifestyle um, where I was, you know, stuck in an office from nine to five. Um, so I knew I wanted to do something creative. So it just seemed like a, like a, a natural fit for me. So. And doing, majoring in communications, it was, it was somewhat of a broad spectrum, you know, of stuff. So, you know, I did a little bit of radio, uh, television. So I, I got a basic understanding of it. Um, I, I like to tell people that I learned more once I got into the workforce, once you know, real <laughs> yeah. life happened, and I did exactly. So, but it was a great. It was it was a it was good uh, training. Yeah. Well, so tell me about um, your time at the Golf Channel, NBC Golf. Yeah, I, uh, I nineteen the end of nineteen ninety eight. Uh, I got a phone call. I I had applied to Golf Channel when they first went up in ninety five, um, and nothing really happened. And then 1998, uh, they finally gave me a call and were like, why don't you come on down here? Uh, so uh, I up and moved from New Jersey down to Florida. Um, it, it, I'll, I'll be completely honest, golf is kind of my, my first love. Um, yeah, I, I grew up playing the game. My, my father was a golf writer as well. So okay. uh, I went to a lot of golf tournaments with him as a kid. And so I, I had been around the game you know, media wise and just around the game in general. So um, it, when Golf Channel went up, it, it was kind of my dream to work at the Golf Channel. So when they came a call and it was, it was just a great fit. So I came down to Orlando and uh, I worked on Golf Central uh, as a associate producer, producing, uh, again, producing features, uh, highlights, uh, you know, doing more producing than editing which was, which was kind of nice. It kind of gave me a little bit more producing uh, experience. I produced uh, uh, cut-ins, updates, Golf Central updates. Um, and I worked, like I said, I worked on Golf Central. Uh, the major championship preview shows, I did a bunch of features. I was kind of the go-to person for those features. Um, so um, yeah, it, it was a great time. And then uh, about 
five or six years later, there was an opportunity to move over to uh, original productions. So I moved over there to produce my own show, which was uh, Quest for the Card inside the web.com tour show. Um, and uh, it was tremendous. Um, I was, it, it was my baby. I, I coordinated the whole show. I did everything from top to bottom with this show. Um, so um, it was a great opportunity. Uh, so I, I did that for a number of years. I also worked on uh, Golf's Greatest Rounds as a lead producer. Um, so, and I've worked on a couple uh, of the golf films that they uh, produced in that department. So, and then they had, in 2015, they had a uh, restructuring, business restructuring going on. So they, they, uh, they made some changes and my position was eliminated. Um, and since that time, I've been working here in Orlando, uh, trying to help small businesses, personal brands with their video production needs for websites, social media platforms, whatever kind of video they need to market their business. So I'm, I'm trying to branch out a little bit, but I, I would love to stay in sports if possible. Yeah. No, that's, that's great. So like yeah. now with your work that you're doing kind of helping other businesses are you doing everything like editing um from creative all the yeah. way through yeah i'm doing i'm sh doing the shooting the editing uh i can script write for them um yeah i'm i'm kind of, i'm kind of all hands on type person um but and one of the things that i offer to the folks down here is uh, that I can offer the folks down here in Orlando is the fact that I know a lot of cameramen in town now, having been down here almost 20 years. So if they want to do a larger project, um, we can get you know a real professional cameraman. So, okay. Yeah. And um, do you have all your own equipment? I take it as well. Then for that. I do. I do. I have a uh, I have a a, a small camera. Um, yeah. Like I said, it's for more for web websites and stuff like that um it's nothing mammoth but it's it's a good uh, gets it done <laughs> nice little camera yeah it's a good camera it can shoot b-roll it can zoom in it's it's good yeah it's good so what's camera. your yeah. ideal role then that you would uh be looking for um i'm looking for more producer roles um you know i'd like to I, I enjoy the, the managing aspect of a show, coordinating it and all that kind of stuff. So maybe senior producer roles I'm interested in, coordinating producer roles. Um, yeah, those are the kind of roles that I'm looking at right now. Just in Central Florida, are you open to relocation? No, I'm, I'm definitely open to relocation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What would yeah, you... Ideal, ideally, I'd love either New York or LA, but um, New York is probably ideal okay. um, but I, I'm open to yeah I'm open to relocation pretty much anywhere okay that makes that that's always helpful yeah. you know then if it's like you know and especially you know central Florida isn't a huge exactly you know, medium you know market exactly. for that kind of stuff so exactly. um, what kind of what's your biggest you know skill or assets that you would bring to a new role um especially in the sports medium I think it's my knowledge of sports is is a huge asset um, the experience that I've had um, working on all different kinds of uh, sports programs um, uh, you know I've worked I've done stuff for national networks I've done stuff for uh, uh, news gathering places that deal with a lot of local stations um, so I've kind of run the gamut as far as that goes, um, but I think I think just my my managing and organizational skills I think would be a huge asset to uh, to any production. How about on the flip side? What what's the area that you need to work on the most? Hmm. Probably. Honestly, probably probably if I probably shooting and editing only because I know how to edit for sure. Um, you know, I know I've been in an edit room. I know all the, the, I know Avid, I know Adobe Premiere. I've actually been editing with the Adobe Premiere. Um, but it's just, I grew up editing tape. So moving to on to, to online editing, 
Um, it's just a little bit of a learning curve, but I mean, I've, I, I think I can easily adjust to editing. Um, shooting, I haven't done a whole lot, but I've done quite a bit. Yeah, obviously in the last four years or so. Um, so, but again, I've directed cameramen and stuff like that. So I have, I have a pretty good understanding of them all. But yeah, if I were to say, you know, what are, what are the two roles? Um, I would probably say shooting and editing. Okay. That's good. Yeah. How about, um, how would you define success? Oh, how would I define success? Um, I think just, mm, that's a broad question. I, I think just, uh, just loving what you're doing. Um, like I said, I grew up with a father who was a sports writer and he absolutely loved what he did. You know, he knew he wanted to be a sports writer from when he was 10 years old and he just, he loved what he did. And my father, he always taught us, you know, when we were kind of trying to figure out what we wanted to do with our lives, he just, he always told us, do what you love, you know, cause you don't want to be in a position that, you know, a job that you hate. <laughs> you, you hate. You know? Yeah. So, I tell yeah. my kids the same thing. Yeah. So, and it's true. To, me, to me, that's happiness. That, that. Yeah. yeah. I, I agree with that. Um, how about a fun personal fact about you? Fun personal fact. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've seen Bruce Springsteen 53 times in concert. 53 I've times. 53 times. Yeah. Is there a restraining yeah. order or what? I mean, <laughs> no, I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm lower than most, believe me. So is that your, is, is he your favorite? What's that? Is he your favorite? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Growing up in New Jersey. I was going to say, he's from Jersey, right? Yeah, he's he's the guy. <laughs> 58 times. What was the best show that you've seen of him? Uh, actually, I just got the download of the show. Um, it's a recent show, 2016, Pittsburgh. Okay. He played on uh, September 11th. It was incredible. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. It was an incredible show. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I had somebody else um, give me something similar. It was like another band that they have like, oh, like yeah. uh, stalked over the last any. <laughs> I think it was even more times than that. So, <laughs> but no, it's cool. I, yeah, I appreciate it. No, it was, it was great, you know, chatting with you here today. Yeah. Um, you know, love to keep in touch with you, especially since I'll be in your neck of the woods in a week. So. Okay, great. Yeah. Give me a shout. We can 